Alrighty guys, in today's video Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at part 2 of tiling that can be found under the um, uh, panel tab for the cut and plot feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and also we have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, there's going to be um, just a quick uh, video on how to do the similar things to what we did on the tile panel here on the left, but in the preview window. So then, um, yeah, what we can do if I zoom in here, just so you guys can see better, let's say we wanted to add another tile, then we can simply hover on one of these lines but keeping in mind that the um, horizontal lines and the vertical lines react a bit different so the horizontal lines if i over here click and add a new um let me just remove these two settings click and add a new set, uh, tile you will see it adds it there for us for all three of the tiles but if we had to go on a vertical one it's maybe at the bottom click you'll see it only adds it for that tile so that is something to keep in mind. I'm not sure why the program does it this way, but it does. So then um, what we can also do, if we uh, you can obviously click those ones and remove it again. So just hover on those lines, which is two arrows, and then you can remove it. Then for the tile selected, you can also, um, you don't actually need to have the tile selected. You can just hover. And it will adjust those ones for you. But sometimes it is nice to have a tile selected so that you know which one you're working with. Then you can just readjust those. But like I say, keep in mind horizontal lines. I mean, sorry, um, vertical lines. They will uh, all the um, tiles in that direction will be affected, or all the ones that attach to that line. Then uh, you can obviously also, um, yeah. So you can resize them pretty much the way you want. But it, this is definitely a way more, um, how can I say, dynamic type of way of doing it. So it is not as controlled as using the features here on the left, especially the, um, the columns and so forth. So you, in my personal opinion, you can way quicker make a, a mess or more easily make a mess of your tiles by um, adjusting it this way. But that is why we've got this nice little feature here called Reset. So if you did mess it up like me, you can simply just click reset and start afresh. You can just quickly realign those things so it looks a bit better. So otherwise that is it, how you can do it in your preview. It's rather simple. As you can see here also, you can right click them and you gray them out. So it means it will not be cutting those panels. So if you just wanted to do have certain panels done, like especially these white ones, I mean, there's no need for me to cut them out if the background let's say is going to be transparent so if it's on a window so i can just cut these out i might leave this one so i can get the spacing right between the two but uh, the rest of them won't be relevant otherwise that is it on doing tiling through your preview window if we um head you to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, and then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.